The second way you can add a PowerPoint or Google slide set to um, your Schoology course is through your Google Drive if that's where the original file is stored. So uh, there's a couple different ways to do that and really it's going to depend on what kind of file you're starting with. If you're starting with a PowerPoint then you're going to go through the extra step of actually having to convert it to a Google slide set in order for you to allow the sharing permissions. So um, if you're already starting with with this um, logo here then that means you're starting with a Google slide set and so I'm going to walk you through um, a little bit of a longer version starting with the PowerPoint but you would do the exact same thing um, once it's converted to Google Slides as you would as, um, if you were starting. So if I double click on that PowerPoint and open it up you should see the little option here to share and you should notice the little lock and if you click on that it's going to force you to save this now as Google Slides and so it'll convert it and it will just save it in your Google Drive under the same file name but now it will be easier for the students to access. Now you should be able to see your converted file and one thing um, you can see the difference some of the lettering some of the formatting does change a little bit so it's always a good idea to just give it one quick run through um, and make sure that see like this uh, my pictures didn't convert so it's always good to just double check and make sure that the information you want the kids to have is there but once you've ensured that everything looks good you just hit share and you see how it already said um, when I hovered over it private only to me so that's probably part of the uh, problem that the students are running into so when you hit share you're gonna hit get a shareable link and now you can see that this says if we drop it down, anyone um, at VBCPS with this link can view it. And I would keep it set to this. It defaults to this. If you hit edit, then the students can start editing your original copies. So you can do that. You can copy the link. And then we can head over to Schoology. So if you're in your Schoology course here, what you can do is go to Add Materials now and you can hit Add File and now instead of have adding just a file uh, we're going to add a link since we just copied that link and my best advice I'm going to show you you can copy and paste that link exactly as it is but if you notice there's this little part here that says Edit and if you just simply delete that and change it to Copy I'll show you what happens when we click on it. So you can give it a title, um, we'll give it notes, and we're just going to change one little thing here. Instead of hitting display in Schoology, we're going to hit um, uncheck that really. So it's grayed out and now that's going to force the students to display these in a new window so they don't get this sad face um, on their screen and makes it look like the file is still inaccessible. Now when we click on the notes link, it opens up and they have no choice but to make a copy of the document for themselves, which then gets stored in their Google Drive. So remind them they don't need to go back to your notes file every time and click it. They can just simply go back to their Google Drive and look for their copy of whatever the notes are that they took from you.